and girls, welcome back to the Solid Rock Children's Church. How are you doing? Hope your parents, you know, your loved ones are all doing very well. And how are your friends in school? You know, after the Easter holiday, I hope you were so happy to see all your friends. I can just imagine. Well, this is your teacher, Florence O'Riton. And I'm going to go through the uh, program with you and then I will see you at the lesson. So, you know, we always start with the worship and then we have the memory verse. We're going to have a quiz and that story. And after the story, I will be going through the lesson with you today. Okay, so I'll see you soon and God bless you. I'm so excited to worship with you again today. Today we're going to sing a very simple song. It says, I am a friend of God. I want you to point to yourself and say, I, you can mention your name. I, Kemi, I'm a friend of God. Are you ready now? Come on, put your hands together like this. Woo! again okay say who am I that you are oh you can put a dance to it like this that you hear me when I call your name when I go and is it true that is it true that you are thinking of me how you love me how you love me it's amazing Have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. 
John 11, 40-42 Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away their stone. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew you always heard me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe you sent me. Amen. Stories of the Bible Jesus Raises Lazarus from the Dead This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on! But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, you'll be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? 
Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here. So they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that story. Wow, that's a very, very interesting story, if you ask me. Now, in this story, we have seen that it was uh, Simon, you know, one of the Pharisees that invited Jesus to his house. It, normally, when you invite someone in, in, into your house, in that culture, you know, in those days, you invite them and you honor them by washing their feet, you serve them food. But you know what? With the Bible passage, you know, read, I mean, I hope you listen to the memory verse because that's where you will get to where the lesson is taken from. So the lesson today is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 7. Okay, so let me continue. Now, Simon didn't do any of that. Didn't wash Jesus' feet, neither did he invite him to the table because his purpose for inviting Jesus over was actually to question him. Remember, in, in at the time, Jesus, you know, is the Messiah. But the Pharisees, these were the people that are so religious, you know, that are so religious. They believe more in what they have, you know, in in in, in their, uh, you know, in what the story that they've heard about Abraham and all of that. So when Jesus came, they didn't even see him as the Messiah. So he invited Jesus to actually question him. And do you know what? A woman heard this. We heard in that uh, the, the topic of the of the, of the lesson of the story says a sinful woman. So this was a woman known in town to be, you know, the sinner of town. Came and, you know, what did she did was a heart of service, heart of love. You know, she wet Jesus' feet with her tears. She washed, you know, Jesus' feet with her with her hair, and again she. Pour, you know, very expensive alabaster oil on Jesus' feet. You know, that is a sacrifice. That is worship. You know, but to many of us, you know, we will not, we might not understand this story so well because we are kids, right? But I want you to know one thing. And the thing is that Jesus, you know, knows our heart. He knows our heart. He knows the thought of our heart. He knows what Simon was talking about, thinking about when he was saying, oh, you know, thinking in his heart, not knowing that Jesus was actually reading his mind that, oh, this sinful woman doing all this to his feet. Oh, my gosh. I hope, you know, Jesus knows the kind of woman this is. And this is why Jesus had to reply to Simon and said, you know, actually spoke it out and said, you know, oh, and he gave that illustration that, if two people are hoeing somebody, you know, who would if and they are if, if they cannot pay and they are pardoned, who do you think will appreciate it more? Is it the person that holds that hold more, or is it the person that holds less? Because according to Simon, Simon believed that he is less of a sinner than that woman, you know. But Jesus could see the heart, the love in the heart of that woman, and he forgave her, you know, her sins. So boys and girls, God knows the thought of your heart. And you know what? God is able to forgive us all our sins. So don't let us be so judgmental of other people that we think, oh, they have the worst attitude. They have the worst, worst habits because we all fall short. But thank God for the love of God. God bless you, boys and girls. I hope you're blessed and I'll see you very soon. Hello friends, how you doing? Yeah, you know what time it is? Yes, exactly. It's quiz time. Are you ready? Now we have some questions for you. 
So let's get straight right into it. First question, in what town did Lazarus live? In what town did Lazarus live? He was also raised from the dead here. In what town did Lazarus live? Clue, he was also raised from the dead here. A. Jerusalem B. Nazareth C. Cana D. Bethany And if you answered D, then you are correct. Lazarus lived in Bethany. Next question. Lazarus had two sisters who cared a great deal for him. What were their names? Lazarus had two sisters who cared a great deal for him. What were their names? A. Elizabeth and Anna B. Mary and Elizabeth C. Mary and Martha D. Martha and Elizabeth And if you answered C, then you are correct. Mary and Martha is the answer. Next question. Lazarus' sister sent Jesus a message telling him that their brother was sick. What did Christ do after he received this message? A. He waited two days before going to them. B. He was so busy he didn't arrive for a week. C. He left to help them immediately. D. He arrived four days after he got the message. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D. He arrived four days after he got the message. Next question. When Jesus arrived at Lazarus' town, one of his sisters came out to see Jesus and made a statement. Christ conversed with his with this sister a bit and then the other sister approached Jesus, fell at his feet and made the very same statement. What did both of the sisters say? A. Help me, master. I grieve so. B. Lord, if thou hadn't been here, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. C. Will my brother be welcome in to your kingdom? D. Welcome, Lord. I have longed for you. And if you answered B, then you are correct. She said, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. That means, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. Next question. All around the house of Lazarus were many Jews who had come to offer comfort and support. Jesus saw numerous of them people crying. In the midst of the biblical story is John 11.35. This verse is the shortest in all of scripture. What does this verse say in King James Version? What does this verse say in King James Version? A. He knelt. B. Christ prayed. C. Jesus wept. D. Jesus groaned. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. Jesus wept. And it's the shortest Bible passage in all of the scripture. Now we go on to the home quiz. Yeah, my favorite part because here we get to give up prizes to the winners so make sure you send your answers to the church email address you know how we do it the first correct answers get the prize so let's go one of lazarus's sisters was unaware of the miracle soon to come and so she protested his request what was her complaint a the body would stink b it violated jewish law to disturb the dead C. The stone was too heavy to roll. D. The shoe let her poor brother rest in peace. Next question. After the stone was rolled away, Jesus lifted up his eyes and prayed to God. He thanked his father for hearing him always for the sake of his people. Then what did Christ cry out in a loud voice, saying, a. Lazarus come forth. B. I resurrect thee. C. Arise and wake up from the dead. 
empty through God's grace, Lazarus, you leave. Next question, number three. In John 12, we read that Jesus paid a visit to Lazarus sometime after he had raised him from the dead. What activity did the two engage in together? A. Teaching B. Prophecy C. Fishing D. Supper Next question Number 4 Which is the last one for the squeeze Later, in John 12, the chief priests conspired to kill Lazarus. Why did this man think about doing such a terrible thing? A. Because of Lazarus' resurrection many people were believing in Jesus. B. The death of Lazarus would make Christ look like a fraud. C. Lazarus was unlawfully raised from the dead on the Sabbath. D. Lazarus refused to show the chief priest's proper respect after he was raised from the dead. So, make sure you send the answers exactly how we do it to the email address kidzone at solidrockdumpling.org that it i'll take it again solid kid zone at solid rock dublin org you know how we do it the first correct answer gets a gift in church you know we'll soon be getting back into church very 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 soon so keep your ears on the ground and sending your answers fast because you're going to be getting the prize if you have the correct answers that's it for today nice have a nice day bye as always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. my covenant with you. Like you that our father, father God, God, he's all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything he knows <laughs> tomorrow. And art. Like I'm so telling you, like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so. Guess what? You know you're just big all this.